Zoo Pals. It's time for a special guest question. Introducing Bordy the Smart Board. Hi ho, Bordy the Smart Board here. Look at this beluga whale. It's got a funny little bump on its head that helps it find food and navigate using echolocation. What is that called? Not from my perspective. Another question down. See you all later. <laughs> Memorable events. <laughs> Crustify me, Commander! It's a single box of delicious Commander Crust Cereal! With delicious sweetened corn flavor and shaped like, um, uh, hay bales? Or something. This cereal is part of a precariously balanced breakfast. I've traveled back in time! I'm here aboard the RMS Titanic and the date is April 15, 1912. The Titanic is about to hit an iceberg and sink into the ocean! But which ocean is it? Gee, everyone's so lively! Shovelware Studios. <laughs> what type of burgers bounce best, bro? I'll take it. A new cart! Somebody left it out in the parking lot of Marsh's grocery store. Can you believe it? You made it to the end of the round. There's no one else here, so the winner must be you. Thank you all for watching another fantastic episode of Shovelware's Brain Game. We'll be right back with more after the break. Check out the gift shop while you wait. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Smart Technologies. No, seriously, they paid us to make this.
It's time for another exciting episode of the world's only game show, Shovelware's Brain Game. He's the star of the show, and he signs my paycheck. It's the Dancing Banana. Shapes and such. If you saw a three-dimensional object that looked like a perfect circle from all sides, what would you call that shape? Eyes on the prizes. Which of these locations can you not win a trip to as a prize here on Shovelware's Brain Game? Big oof. The power of music. This question is really going to get him. And you know, if not, then let me get struck by... Oh, uh, a falling grand piano. <laughs> and live. Whoa! That was a close call. And now all of the keys are scattered everywhere. I guess I've got to clean this mess up. Uh, how many keys will I need to pick up in total? Big laundry. So imagine you're in a clothing store. You overhear a conversation between two people. Oh, yeah, I'm totally into beanies right now. Beanies, huh? No, I'm more into deer stalkers. I mean, how fetching, right? Deer stalkers? What is this? The 1800s? No, if you're gonna pick a weird one, it's gotta be fezzes. What type of clothing are those two weirdos, I mean people, talking about? Sure, whatever! Memorable events. With their iconic overalls, red and green caps, and let's -a go attitude, the Wright brothers are known for saving a certain fungus-infested kingdom from, no, 
Wrong Brothers? Oh, oh! With their iconic flying contraptions and never-give-up attitude, the Wright Brothers are widely credited as the duo to first create a motorized aircraft. What year did they take their first flight? Shapes and such. Which of the following is not a real shape? I give up. It's an IOU for one fabulous prize! I ran out of time and couldn't find anything good. But you can redeem this at some point in the future for a real prize. I swear. You made it to the end of the round. There's no one else here, so the winner must be you! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same! Ha! I'd like to see that pompous pepper over at Good World Games put on half a show as good as this. This episode of Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by those guys standing out on the street spinning signs for a car wash. They gave us a few bucks to keep the lights on. Hey, thanks, fellas.